Y'all, I'm really giving out the tea. Like, this is literally what I do. Some of y'all are editing your stomach when you should be editing the people out of the background. That's what we're worried about, sis. Dirty backgrounds just make you look dirty. If you could see it, we could see it. And we saw it, sis. That's crazy. We twins. I'm her and she's me. Would this be blackface? But I am black. Hi my loves, it's me, Gina B, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. So I actually get asked this a lot. I went to go take pictures today, they turned out really, really cute. I'm like, oh yeah, let me put my girls on. Please do not over edit your pictures or feel like you have to have the smallest waist, the biggest bum to get likes. Like at the end of the day, that's gonna ruin your own confidence because you not you don't look like your pictures. That's gonna get to you. And you're like, girl, do you get into the video? I just had to say this because I don't know, for some reason, y'all might think I edit my pictures a lot. I literally don't. I just learned how to take good pictures so I could limit my editing and use editing to fix things that I can't control, such as like flyaways or a pimple or stuff like that. When you're editing your pictures, have have the mindset of an influencer right so it's like usually when i'm taking pictures i'm advertising certain things like say for this dress for example if there's a stain on the dress i'm gonna edit it out for the most part i just try to take good pictures so that i don't have to edit as much but me i love me a little smooth a little white in you know just just come with a girl like come on now just to give it like a clean aesthetic you know filters and editing is harmful to your mental health because then you start comparing yourself to this perfect version of you that you've edited versus like the real version of you so that's when i say be careful obviously y'all could do what y'all want but i don't want to put this video out there and make y'all think like oh you got to be perfect or you have to look like this it's just to put you guys on to the, just the little tips and tricks to clean up and enhance your pictures all right now let's get into it so the main app i use is facetune and i'm gonna also put you guys on to other apps that just help me with little little things i'm gonna show you guys how i edit two outfit pictures and how i usually edit my selfies first things first put your pictures in albums i put all my pictures and albums so they're easier to like access let's start with this picture the first thing i always do i just smooth like i just love to smooth it out even though i'm already pretty smooth i just feel like it's i don't know i just like to smooth it out so i always go in with smooth and just smooth out anything that i just usually just smooth out visible skin in it like Especially my face, like, oh, and my veins. I have such veiny arms. Ah, it's nothing wrong with it, but I feel like it just be messing up the aesthetic. So, again, I'm also very oily, so I love to just smooth. And then sometimes, if it's a lot, like right now, it's a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie. So, I just keep it natural. You wanna like tap, 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 like smooth. You don't wanna, you know? So, I'm gonna go in with smoother and just like gently, because this one is. This one will do it to your girl. So yeah. Okay, so then I just, I always like take a step back and look like, you see like, I always look. So you click here, this button. I'm showing y'all like y'all right next to me. You click this button to see what you've done. So you see how I'm just a little bit smoother and then I'll just go in again and I'll go in some more. Okay, next thing, I also always fix my lace. Like, the lace be looking good, I'm not gonna lie, but sometimes in the sun, it just doesn't give. So either I'll use heel, so heel just kinda like, you see how it's just getting rid of that demarcation? You see? Yo, I'm gonna pretend y'all right here, because you see? <laughs> and then I'll go in with smoother again. Boom, the lace is fixed. Sometimes I like to fix my nose. When I contour my nose, I do not contour it correctly. So I just like to knock it back in place. But let me put y'all on to the secret. If you want to glow. Like, you see how I'm already glowing in this picture? Like, again, I said enhance. I don't add nothing I don't already have now. But enhance. So me, I love to glow. Like, this, you can never glow too much. So I like to go in with white and again this is only for people that are subscribed so if you're not subscribed and you're still watching thinking i'm gonna tell you the secrets i'm gonna need you to subscribe yeah so then you're gonna click white in you're gonna click white in and you're gonna tap like oh not too much because sometimes you could look like gong like you feel me you don't want to do that you just want to lick a little bit you know so yeah going with white in like any place that i'm already glowing i just love to go in with white in Mm, and it is gonna get also love to use detail so detail just 
brings out anything you want to be brought out so i love to bring out my lips my eyes and my jewelry every picture is not edited the same way like you just need the tools know what they do and then you kind of have the choice to play around with it usually if i have a pimple you could smooth it or you could use patch i like to use patch i go in with vanish vanish is like spot on you see so usually i'll just see if i have like little little spots and then yeah I'll do that. Editing is all about your own taste and what you like. Again, always keep it natural. Like, we twins. Like, I'm her and she's me. You get. It's just in that moment, certain aspects were highlighted that I don't want. So yeah, I get rid of that. You see, I love that for me. You see the difference? Like, I went from greasy as hell to just like smooth. I don't know about the glowiness under my eye either though. So you could also use patch. So patch just matches it to the surrounding area. I could be very greasy so sometimes I like to look matte. Obviously I can't control how greasy I am so I'm gonna edit it. So now that I took all the shine away from my face except for my nose I like to go back and I'll go to whiten and then I'll just highlight like the high points of my face you see just to bring bring it back slightly. You see how it just bring a little glow back or because then far away like this looks good. See my legs like ah, the legs always give like ah. again I'll go in with white in just to you know emphasize anything. The toes is always crunched but, but maybe we'll hit them with a little smoother a little smooth but the toes if y'all look closely i'm always scrunching my toes i don't i don't know so it's kind of repetitive like i just like to clean it up oh for my hair i usually would add like detail to like pop the curls they also have paint so with paint you could change the color of things so usually i'll like my hair i'll do tone and make my hair darker because it just makes the picture look better to me and also another tip i'm putting y'all on to the real tea like <laughs> i love that for y'all i'll go in with pink skin and i'll pick like a color a little bit lighter than my skin color and i'll go into my part not that much now but it's kind of like how like when you do your baby hairs you could put powder here to make it look more natural that's what i do you see the difference that's crazy so like i said i have really veiny arms and i just feel like it distracts because it's like girl why are you gripping the purse so i'm going to go to patch and i'm gonna try vanish sometimes you try it and it looks crazy that's another tip if you do it and it looks crazy don't keep it as if no one's gonna see if you could see it we could see it and we saw it sis so i just i'll do it if it looks crazy you just you see like it's looking crazy but sometimes you just got to take a step back and see like obviously i'm not gonna get rid of all the veins in my arm yeah it could look crazy like sometimes this could look crazy but that's when you go in with smooth again you see just to uh-huh and then if you smooth too much you could add texture i know this looks crazy but then you limit it just to bring it back right sometimes it's not always perfect like you really i just want to stress that you have to play around with it so i could add some color back to it and see I like it more yeah, like I literally just sit here and draw myself so then I'll go in with vanish and just yeah get rid of it small small when it's highly textured that's when I feel like patch is good because it just matches the texture I, I could rock with this now this is the part where y'all gonna be like you know you're mad extra but I edit the background more than I'll edit myself because dirty backgrounds just make you look dirty I don't care I'm sorry I'll tell you the truth so please make sure your background your location always looks clean that's where editing comes in some of y'all are editing your stomach when you should be editing the people out of the background that's what we worried about sis your stomach looks good but the people in the background, the bird poop on the side, that's what's, that's what's getting me. I feel like clean backgrounds overall elevate your picture. Usually you could use vanish or patch. You just don't want it to look blatant. Y'all worried about my scrunched toes. I'm worried about the background. Please. Yeah, all the gum on the floor. Where are our tax dollars going? Ooh, that's probably why I have bad eyesight. The phone is even here. Let me, let me back up. To get rid of shadows, I try two things. First, I'll try patch, right? And I'll just do vanish. And I'll go over the shadow. If it's successfully, okay, yeah. Like, this is good. And now you're like, girl, that literally looks mad obvious. You could do two things. You could get rid of the line completely. Mm, I don't like that because it's a sidewalk. Like, there's lines. So usually I'll do vanish and then I'll do patch. And then I'll zoom in. I'll go to the line, right? Match it up with the line and make my own line. 
because this is this is my fantasy <laughs> you see that looks so please don't do that that looks so good so then i'll go again you gotta line it up it is cut please as seamless as possible okay yeah this looks pretty good when you start doing it like this it gets pretty tedious i'm not gonna lie uh, the screen recording is making it bug out so i'm gonna leave it at that but you're gonna want to reconstruct the whole new line so there's no shadow obviously don't make it look obvious but this is just for demonstration purposes this is the before again perfectly good picture like you could post the picture just like this but to me this looks cleaner you see it's like subtle but to me it makes a difference so i like to edit like that and i like to crop it to instagram's dimension i feel like it keeps instagram from messing up the quality from cropping it themselves so i'll go to four or five another tip y'all i'm really giving y'all the tea like this is literally what i do so yeah what i do is i like my feet at the edge of the picture you see how this didn't even matter and i like to be in the middle you see the grid i like to be as centered and my feet at the edge as possible boom so when you go to post on instagram so let's say i was gonna go post this Ooh, so cute sorry she looks beautiful okay so now it stays like ready to go like it didn't have to do the most like it's ready to go now this picture was mad cute this picture you guys loved this picture thank you guys so much for all the love on this one this one the lace was really good so i was super happy and my skin looked amazing like that tan from jamaica i'm coming for you so usually again same thing just smooth little pimple see you see how sometimes mm -mm. so we gonna retouch we gonna smooth it out you see how this lace was actually really good like i could do it slightly to you know just to you know but the lace was really good and we're just gonna smooth some detail on the lips some detail on the glasses because that's like you can't really see my face i remember with this one there wasn't much to edit you see my nipples was showing did i edit that out i i vaguely <laughs> so we're gonna smooth the nips vaguely again the skin was given the body was given smooth out the legs small small Right. and then i remember i could not get rid of the shadow so i left it patch vanish just get rid of the lines on the wall i could detail my skirt and smooth out the skirt because again i was promoting the skirt so we're gonna smooth and then combine smooth with detail i don't want it to be super wrinkly though you see you see how it's like wrinkly and this made it like a little bit better and then whiten so anywhere that i'm vaguely glowy i'll whiten White, I can whiten the shoes a little bit. Whiten the bag a little bit. Brightness. I think I made it a little bit brighter because it's too shadowy. So I did not need to edit this picture as much. So what I did is I couldn't really edit this thing out, right? Let me see. Yeah, so I'll crop it. Like if I can't edit it, I'll crop it out. So we're at 4.5. We're just going to bring it in just a little bit. Yeah, the tip of my shoe is on the edge. You have it the infamous gina b picture selfies again low-key same thing so yeah this is the selfie you see like this is straight out the camera rolling that the so first things i'll do is smooth so i just like to smooth it again you want to swipe not so you just swipe okay so i like to and then anywhere that's super glowy i usually won't go over because i, I want to keep it glowy then I'll go to whiten and that anywhere that's super glowy, I just like to emphasize and highlight the glow. My brows actually look decent here, but I like to go in with smoother because I always have stray hairs on my brow. With selfies, you want to be careful though because they could easily look fake. The lace, the lace, when you're in the sun, it's going to lace. I like to go in with heel, depending on how bad I might patch it. So we like to go in with that boom oh structure is really good too like structure you don't want to do that but like structure anything that you want to be super detailed structure will do that for you extra things i like to do i like to darken anything that's black i like to darken it so i'll go into tone black and like say my lashes in selfies i like my lashes to look super dark because that helps my eyes just stand out more and i have like really light eyebrows so i might just darken them as well 
and then you just erase anywhere that shouldn't be and then again love to darken hair because the sun makes it brighter than it is and you see how it just changes the quality of the picture and it gives it more depth when you darken things that are meant to be dark and anywhere that has like lace i'll lighten it to give more of that scalp appearance boom this is cute now this picture i felt like it wasn't communicating my real skin color it's cute it gave it just gave a little washed out brightness i'm gonna bring the brightness like ooh. would this would this be blackface but i am black i don't know anyways we're gonna leave it. Structure, I love structure. Structure just makes your picture look hyper real. I think I need to darken it a little bit, like a little bit darker. And then up the saturation maybe. Ooh, contrast. See, it's literally, you just gotta play with it. Like sometimes you'll like it, sometimes you won't. And yeah, this is how I edit my selfies. So this was the finished product that I posted. Let me put you on to additional apps. Sometimes there's shadows in my pictures. I like to use retouch. I'll just come to retouch. I'll do objects and then boom, go. Like you wanna do it vaguely. Like you just kind of keep doing it till they all get go away and it's more so seamless yeah that's a retouch another one i really really like is snapseed so snapseed is great if you need more space okay let's use this picture for example so i'll go to tools and i'll go to expand see now it's gonna let me expand the top of the picture do y'all know what i mean like when you just need more space in your picture like this picture if i was to post it it'll be too close so you could use this to like expand it lightroom this is like an old picture but we could use it for example lightroom helps if you want to edit colors so usually i'll use it for color so i'll go to mix and then i'll pick a color so you could you see how it could you see how it changed the colors so yeah, you could play around with it, like if you want it to be more saturated, less saturated, like more out, up, um, the luminous. Another one, yo, these, this is really like the key. Like, I don't know if y'all understand how much I'm putting y'all on. Raminini. I got this app from 2020 TikTok. Like, it's really good. It just makes pictures super clear. Obviously, your feed and the aesthetic of your feed isn't as important anymore, but sometimes I just like to see how a certain picture is going to look, especially if you batch create, like we talked about, you want to see, okay, which picture should I post first? And usually I'll post depending on how the pictures look next to each other. So preview is really good for that. It's also free. I don't connect my Instagram to it because I don't know. So I'll just add these two. And yeah. You could just see like, okay, I would do it like this. You see how I just reordered it and it looks better versus this looks off to me. So yeah, so preview is really, really good for that. <sighs> yeah, y'all, that's all my secrets. That's the tea, like I had nothing else. Like y'all got it all, like. But obviously you have to add your own juice, your own sauce to it. You wanna make sure you're taking good pictures so that you don't have to over edit. So again, if you guys want a video on how I actually take my pictures, I could do that for y'all. Edit responsibly, I don't wanna see any triangular you know what i'm saying like please edit responsibly so with great power comes great responsibility i've given you the tools i've given you the step by step edit wisely in it well thank you guys so much for watching i hope i helped i hope you learned a thing or two if you found this video helpful if you're going to use any of the tips definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and also comment down below any other videos you want to see all right bye y'all